executive value as they wished. That would be a truly free market. Well, how are you going to do a deal with someone if you value this thing at a different number than he well, that's does? That's the thing, John. We always do do deals that way. In other well, words... But we're trying to fix it, not whoa, continue. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let, let, me, let me answer your question. Uh, the thing is, what is a dollar? We have uh, any number of definitions for a dollar, uh, official and otherwise. Um, we have people's interpretations of what a dollar represents. We also know that the value of a dollar vacillates. We also okay. know. We also yeah, can I pin you on something? Can I pin you on I see where you're going. I know that. How do you tell? They built Hoover Dam for $20 million. Now $20 million barely gets you a little strip mall. So how can you tell me what a billion dollar what what a, what that what hoover dam is worth today if i were to ask you to do that all the while that he's pretending to know where i'm going here he just asked this question interrupting me <clears throat> giving the very answer to the question which he's just about to ask saying that he knows where this is going well not so at all what i was about to explain I don't, I don't, I'm not sure I even get to explain this at all to him due to his manner. But the thing is, I was about to explain how um, the abstract value of a dollar begins with its value at any time as perceived by any person who has to do commerce, who has to interact with another person and say, well, their concept of a dollar relative to my concept of a dollar relative to my situation determines, and their situation determines whether or not we can do this deal. And what he's, what he's, he's really just describing here, and he's going to go on and on and on about this, take me far, far away from my answer, is a consequence of this obfuscation of the currency and the very thing that he's shown he doesn't understand, which is this maldisposition. Maldisposition is the issue, not his shift B. Maldisposition is the issue because this multiplication of artificial indebtedness in proportion to a circulation, not the principle, although it does multiply in proportion to the principle as well, but it's, in, it's the proportion to the circulation which determines our ability to afford any possible prospective industry and commerce, you see. And so he's just interrupted me from answering the very question that he's going to ask, pretending that he knew all the while where all this is going, you know. So this guy is no interest in, 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 in listening to anyone but, but himself. Explain to me the process. John, I don't know where you're going with this, and I don't know why you interrupted me. All right, keep going, and you'll, I'll end up back with my... I saw where you were going, but keep going. I don't think so. The thing is, in what you were just... What points you were just asserting, uh, yeah. the value of a dollar is still abstract. Well, it doesn't have to be. Well, I don't want it to be. Well, it's, not, it be it's, like not, it's not definite. It's not explicit. Now, I thing, want it to be explicit. I want so, it to be So do I, and I'm showing you the only way that it is explicit, and that certainly isn't to use time as a unit, which you yourself declared that your time is worth different than my time. So only time, if I get that many chips back out of well, the game. Then time is only the unit when the value of our time is equal. No, we're picking a base unit, the volunteer hour for a kid and someone working in the parks. Oh, so we have different values of hours. Yeah, of course, the doctor and the dog walker. Didn't I make that well, point then, yet? Then, then, there isn't an, then there isn't a time unit. Yes, there is. Well, the, the dog walker gets half an hour per that, hour, that, and the that, dentist that, gets four that, hours that, per hour. I, I told you that. The dentist charges four hours per hour, like I got busking my accordion. Well, then you don't have the same time unit. No, we have because, the same time unit. You know, we have different rates of the, thing. That's because, all. And the reason is because the value of what's given up in an hour by one person or another person, even working at the same job, the the, the uh, that's right. The volume of productivity is different. And it should get more chips if you work more, if you produce more, or, or for more quality, depending on what you should, you should get do. more chips. You're, you, so what's wrong? I just said so, it's okay. So time, so time is not the unit. No, 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 no. Time is the unit. The base guy is a volunteer. You've been offered, 
you can score two hours per hour when you ask the economy to pay this for your sneakers. The other guy can only get one and a half hour per hour. So, you know, just because you're using a stable poker chip doesn't mean that the rates have to be stable too. But here's my point that I made early. Oh, what was it again? How did it finish? About the time. Different earning rates. Um, anyway, we'll certainly have... We'll certainly have a, a good in-depth discussion, and I'll cover all your concerns. I would bet, and uh, about how time is the oh yeah, back to the dam again. Now I'll explain it to you, but you could have been able to explain it to me. Here, now you got twenty million dollar dam that today they say it's a strip mall, and yet the strip mall's got a ten thousand tons of cement and the. Dam's got, you know, 20 million tons of cement and four years building as opposed to four months building. What's going on? How can I figure out what that dam would really cost me today? Well, you go back and you say, well, how much were they paying people in those days? Well, they're paying them a buck, a buck a day for 10 hours. You say, oh. well, over then they were making laborers, skilled laborers were making 10 cents an hour in that day. And now to rebuild the same dam for the same million hours of manpower, you'd have to pay maybe 30 an hour for qualified labor on average. So you're talking 30 times the, uh, uh, so it's 300 times more the number. Then see 20 million, um, 300 billion. So all of a sudden that's how much a, a huge dam would cost today. 300 billion. 500, well, that's a little high, I think, maybe in the neighborhood of 30. Anyway, my point is this. How did I do the conversion? I said, how much was human time worth back then? And how much is human time worth now? And I said, okay, it's a factor of, what would I say, 10 cents to 300. And therefore, whatever the number is, uh, then just multiply it by 300. So here we're getting a revelatory peek into the relevant thinking if it is and the issue of course nonetheless is not just what the cost of human labor is because that's not the only issue all of this is governed <clears throat> by a an escalation of artificial indebtedness in proportion to the circulation dedicating ever more of the circulation to servicing debt. This is what put people out of work. This is why people are working for 10 cents an hour or whatever it happened to be at the time. <clears throat> They're put out of work, so they work for nothing <clears throat> because some work is better than no work. But it isn't because of the value of human labor at the time. It's for the inability or ability, whichever the case may be, to pay humans for their labor justly. And when you have maldisposition as a consequence of the currency, that's the cause of all the, dis the, the discrepancies. So the math that he's giving doesn't even account for that. He hasn't even mentioned that issue. It's just the relative value of human labor. But I'm sorry, it's not just the relative value of human labor. <clears throat> the relative value of human labor, this labor today, yesterday, any day in the world, at any time whatsoever, produced whatever it produced and was worth whatever it was worth. But the ability to pay that which is what he's calling the relative value of human labor, differs according to maldisposition, how much of the circulation remains to pay labor, just wages, which 10 cents an hour hardly could possibly be. It cost 20 million to build then, so it'll cost uh, uh, what I say, 20? Six billion to build now. Three hundred times more. So how did you do that estimation if you were forced to do it? You went to the natural universal time standard of money. Well, 
if, and I coined the expression of the United Nations. No, if you look you, for time you stamps, actually, you, Mark, act, you act what you actually just calculated was the cost of the uh, cost of building the dam at the standard of that time versus building the dam at the standard of this time. Which and was, the which, point which, was which that was you different. had no other standard, but the time standard can be used. Well, that's not true. Go ahead, keep going. So notice the abuse of terminology here. A standard is a standard. In other words, it is this. It isn't a perpetually mutable thing. He's calling something that's perpetually mutable and systemically manipulated a standard. Something that continually changes, he's calling a standard. Something that continually deteriorates relative to the multiplication of artificial indebtedness in proportion to the remaining circulation, he's calling that a standard. And there's nothing standard about it. Even in the very next moment of time, it's different. There is no such thing as a time unit of value, which is standard. He himself, in every word that he speaks, is confessing it's not a standard at all. That's my point. The time standard is the easiest way to do it. So the time standard of money is the easiest way to run a system which is completely understandable to everybody. That bridge cost 200 million hours of labor, that dam, way back then, and 200 million hours of labor today cost 6 billion, but either time it's 200 million, uh, 20 million hours of labor. So, that's how we keep track between countries too. I owe you five hours in whatever your currency happens to be. In France, it's 300 green marks for a five yes, hour. Yes, yes, yes. But if, if, the, if the owings of one country to the other are an admixture of what the doctor contributed and what the person that mows lawns contributed and their hours are not worth the same, then trading hours between countries is, is, is not the math. It is. The no, point it's is, not the math. It's Wait. already the math. It's all, we're already doing it. it. How can you not look, see that I'm already doing it? I don't. Everybody I, can do I, I what don't I. See how you think you're doing it. I went to Europe for 39 nights and I paid with my own social credit back home an email that said I owe you. Instead of going to a bank and giving them my I owe you to get official chips to send it, I sent them my own I owe you. Skipping going to the loan shark. That's my point. I've already used it. People who email their time account are already using it. And it's the forerunner of the, of the world, the global yeah, system. Yeah, but there's no such thing as equivalent volumes of time. The unit We're not is talking the... about volumes here. We're talking about a volunteer hour as the big, a child hour. An hour is a volume of time. Fine. We're talking about a child hour, unskilled labor, as the basic unit for collateral at the cage for chips. So you walk in and you pledge, give me a thousand the, the, out chips, please. I got things I want to buy. John, you and, talk about all this fancy math. No, goddamn poker chips based by time. It's not what's hard. You never play poker? Poker chips based by time. Time is the universal value, you know, and uh, it's you don't need to go into a dollar and a euro and a franc and a mark and a pound, you know. What are they? F but an hour, everybody understands. Hey, in Canada, no, 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 because I can claim not to understand it. Well, you're talking gibberish to me. You're telling uh, me that okay, it, well, then, and it's an hour it, still when a doctor's it, hour isn't worth what uh, you know the guy who mows the lawns. Hours oh, worth, you know. It's still you. an hour, indeed. We understand that the hours that went into building the Hoover Dam are the hours that went into building Hoover Dam. Just to establish the time standard as being the ideal. But it isn't. You a said why use then? time? You said why use time? Because in any generation, if they'd have been able to say it didn't cost twenty million dollars, uh, or, or sorry, sorry, if they didn't, if they didn't have to say it cost twenty million dollars which is actually 200 million hours, 
They just said it cost 200 million hours in that generation.